Hey everyone, welcome back to AWS with a beer. If you're AWS certified or planning to become so, then this video is for you. I'll be diving into the AWS recertification process. I'll cover why recertification is important and the options available to you. And I'll give you a great tip of how to save 50% off your exam cost. So stick around for that. And if you find this video useful, please like, subscribe and stay updated with all things AWS. Cheers. But first things first, why does recertification matter? Well, AWS certifications are valid for three years. After that, you need to recertify to ensure that you stay up to date with the latest AWS services, best practices and industry trends. This helps you remain competitive in the job market and ensures your skills are aligned with AWS's evolving ecosystem. So how do you go about recertifying your AWS certification? Well, it really does depend on the level of certification you are looking to renew, because as you're probably aware, there is the practitioner level, the associate level certification, the pro and also the specialty. So let's start at the practitioner level and work our way up. So if you're looking to recertify your AWS certified cloud practitioner certification, then you have four different options available to you here. Option one is completing the AWS cloud quest. So recertified cloud practitioner game-based training. This is a 12 hour course with no exam required. Instead, you'll be required to complete 12 assignments and a bonus challenge. Upon completion, you'll be recertified for another three years and earn two AWS credentials by doing so. The cloud practitioner badge as expected, but also the CloudQuest cloud practitioner digital badge as well. Option two is pass the latest version of the AWS certified cloud practitioner exam, plain and simple just take the same exam again. Option three, pass any of the associate level exams, such as the Solutions Architect Associate. And then option four, pass any of the professional level exams, such as the DevOps Engineer Professional, and they are your four options. Now, if you wish to recertify your AI practitioner, then this is slightly different here, as you only have two options. Option one is pass the latest version of the AWS Certified AI Practitioner Exam, or option two, pass the AWS Certified Machine Learning Engineer Associate. This is the only exam available that will automatically recertify your AI practitioner due to its niche in the AWS curriculum of certs available. And just to confirm, and if you're wondering, this Machine Learning Engineer Associate will also recertify your cloud practitioner too. Now let me move on to recertifying your associate level certifications. Again, it largely depends on which cert you are sitting. Let's start with the most common certification that people go for, the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. Now you only have two options here. Option one is straightforward, retake the same certification exam you passed before. This might be a good choice if you're comfortable with the material and confident in your knowledge. Option two is to pass a higher level exam, this being the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional. This option not only helps you recertify, but also allows you to elevate your career by achieving a more advanced certification. Now, if you're looking to recertify your AWS Certified Developer Associate or the AWS Certified SysOps Administrator, then luckily the options are the same for both of these certifications. Option one, and as expected, retake the same exam that you already have, or option two, pass the AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional Certification. So if you hold both of these associate level certs, then this one professional level cert will recertify them both for you in one go. So that's definitely something to bear in mind. Now next up, the last associate level certification, the AWS Certified Data Engineer Associate. This one is simple. Your only option here is to resit the same exam. Now to finish, we have the professional level certifications and also the specialty level certifications. And unfortunately, there is no quick route for this one, guys. You simply just have to resit the same exam as you did three years previously. But of course, services and features would have changed a lot in that time. So make sure you do your study and prep work for these. And if you're looking for study hints and tips, then you can go check out my other video, 10 proven study tips to pass your AWS certification exams. Now, the cost of these exams can soon add up, especially when the hit the pro and specialty certifications, and these are a staggering $300 each. 
However, each time you do pass an exam, AWS will kindly deposit a 50% discount voucher for your next exam booking. And you can find this within your AWS certification account. So before you go off booking your next exam, check your account as you could save yourself up to $150. And there you have it, a very quick guide to the AWS recertification process and your options to stay certified. Whether you choose to retake the same exam, go for a high level certification, or take advantage of the discounted recertification exam, the key is to stay proactive and keep your skills sharp. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more insights on AWS certifications, cloud careers, and more. And if you have any questions or need further guidance on recertification, please drop a comment below and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.